Welcome to part two of the build series. Today we're going to be building the bed and part of the Z axis. So we'll start with our bed pieces. These are all 2020 extrusion. They come pre-cut pre in the kit. So you'll have two long pieces and two short pieces. The short pieces are the left and right. Long pieces are back and front. And you will need these brackets. You need four of these. These are the Z-axis bearing brackets, and they go in the corners of the uh, bed. And the bearings just slide right in like this. We'll put those in later. So uh, the easiest way to do this is to put uh, the brackets in and get them flush with the end of the 2020 extrusion. this and we'll make sure that that's flush and then go ahead and tighten it up and we'll do the front and the back and then we'll attach them So that's what the end is going to look like when you've got the bed put together. <clears throat> and so now we can put in these corner brackets. And these are all for 2020 extrusion. So it's going to be, uh, they're going to be different than the rest of the brackets with your kit. Okay, so now we're done with the bed, and these are the stock uh, 3D printed pieces straight from the original Hypercube Evolution kit. Next we can put on our bed mounts. So I think these are the 15 uh, millimeter bed mounts from the original Hypercube Evolution files. And so we're going to use these just as they are. They're not perfect, but uh, they work. And they go approximately even with the short extrusion, but we're going to leave them loose so that we can adjust them later. Okay, all the bed mounts are on. So now that we have our bed frame built, we can take the heated bed and put it on top of the bed frame. And remember that our bed brackets are loose. We're going to try not to line up the holes in our bed with the bed brackets. So if you have <clears throat> the Zyltec kit, they're going to send you some M4 screws that are pretty long. These will not work with the stock Hypercube Evolution kit. The, uh, the holes are too small. So I use the M3 screws just to get my get everything aligned. Just those. And I was pretty close. So once all those are there and they, they line up, then I go back around and tighten. And then I'm gonna finish tightening the bed brackets. Okay, they're all tightened. Now we can put on the bed. All right, we've got everything uh, tightened down and in place, but when I tried to use these brackets with the M4 bolts, I find that they're too small, so I had to drill those out. Um, I will try to release an updated file that's sized for an M4 hole. So you can do that, or you can use the original Hypercube uh, Evolution files, and then just take a 5 30 seconds drill bit and drill those out. 
So that's what I did instead of reprinting them all. But I, I will release the STL files, uh, the updated files for these brackets. So now that those are the right size, we can now mount the bed. So we've already positioned the brackets in place. You'll take one of the M4 screws and a spring, and you'll put the M4 screw through the bed, then put the spring in between the bed and the mount, and then just push the screw all the way through the 3D printed mount. We'll do that. Okay, so the bed is mounted. Now we need our the levelers on each side. So these are designed to, to accept an M4 nut, and you'll just push those down in there like that, all the way down in, and you'll just position it over the bolt and tighten it up. Okay, now our bed is complete. Okay, so we're going to put the bed aside for a moment and move back to the frame. And we need our bottom Z-axis uh, rod clamps. And I've redesigned these to accept uh, a captured nut and a socket head cap screw on this side. And this should uh, it only take a 20 millimeter M3 bolt. Those are much more common than uh, the 22 millimeter. And so all you need to do is thread this nut on there. And then just push it so when we put these in, you want to make sure that the socket head cap screw is facing towards the outside. That way we can tighten it later if we have to. So we're just going to get these uh, snug. We don't want to tighten them up yet because we don't know the exact position of where they need to be. Now that those are in place, we can take our 12 millimeter rod and slide them in. I'm just going to let mine rest against the table for now and just get them a little bit snug. Okay, so now we have our bed and our Z axis rods. We need to put the bearings into the bed. So you'll take a bearing. And just slide it in, one in the top and one on the bottom, for a total of eight. So now I've got all the bearings put into the bearing holders, and I'm going to take the bed, and I'm going to put it up against the edge of my frame. I know I want it almost centered. And then I'm going to move these to line up with the bearings. Like that. That's pretty close. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so that's pretty close. And I've left everything loose. So now I should be able to just slide these right on. Okay, so the bed is in position. That was a little bit tricky, but not too bad. Now we can raise the rods back up to where they're flush, tighten up the rods, then we can get the front to back uh, spacing like we want. We roughly want it centered, maybe just a little bit uh, off center, but that all has to do with uh, which hot end you choose. But if you go with uh, standard, you want the bed pushed up just a little bit uh, forward of center.
24 of the Z-axis rod supports. When you put these on, the socket head cap screw is going to face towards you. So this one will fit right in here. And I've left it a little bit loose so that we could uh, that I could get the, the rod to go up in there. And then you'll take another one of these and slide it in before you tighten everything down. Okay, I'm going to make sure the rods are flush with each side and then tight on the We have these tight, uh, the clamps are tight on the rods. We still have these a little bit loose, the actual brackets. That allows us to move the bed up and down and the bed will, will position the rods um, in the correct place. And so we'll check to make sure everything uh, clears and there's plenty of, uh, there's, there's no binding. So once we get it up to the top, then I'll hold it there and tighten up the uh, brackets. Okay, so now that we have our rods secured, we're going to go ahead and mount our Z stepper motors. And so you have two, one's going to mount to each side, and you'll have one mount to, they mount approximately in the middle. One mounts over here, and you'll have the other one mount on the opposite side. leave those loose and then you'll take your lead screw and this is going to attach to the bed and the lead screw will fit into that flex coupling on the stepper motor so you'll put your Z bracket on the 2020 extrusion tighten it up on both sides There's two on the front and two on the top. And you can put your lead screw inside the flex coupling to make sure that it's all aligned. And make sure that the lead screw is vertical at this point. It doesn't need to be leaning side to side. And then you can rotate the flex coupling and tighten up those grub screws. So thanks for watching.